Subong ang ato niya Subong Operations on fractions Bago ito magsugod Let's start with similar fractions And dissimilar fractions Similar fractions are fractions That have the same denominator So meaning Biskan la inay pa ng ilang uh, numerator Ang importante kung pareho sa ilang denominator Like for example 1 7 3 7 4 7 6 7 all of them have the same denominator, 7, meaning they are similar fractions. These similar fractions naman, are fractions that do not have the same denominator. For example, 2 thirds, 4 fifths, 1 sixth, and 9 tenths. As you can see, lain na yung ilang denominator, meaning they are dissimilar fractions. In ng nga concepts, they are important to the discussion on operations on functions. Alright. Addition of similar fractions. For example, 2 ninths plus 5 ninths. Pareho sila denominator, meaning similar fractions sila. So, paano mag-add sa similar fractions? 2 ninths plus 5 ninths equals, ang ato nyo, Bron, you copy the denominator, 9, and you add the numerator. So, 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 all over 9. So, that's equal to 2 plus 5. That is 7 over 9 or 7 ninths. Next, 7 eighths plus 3 eighths. They, have similar, they are similar fractions because they have the same denominator. So, our number is, again, you copy the denominator 8. Okay, pareho sila. They have a common denominator. And then you add the numerator. 7 plus 3. So that's equal to 7 plus 3. 10 over 8. Now, 10 eighths, you can actually still simplify this one. 10 and 8 are both divisible by 2. So, 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Tapos, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. 5 fourths. 5 fourths is an example of an improper fraction. You can still convert this into a mixed number. So, 5 fourths or 5 divided by 4, 1. How much do we have left? 1 over 4. So, 1 and 1 fourth. Let's try 3 fifths plus 2 fifths. They are still similar fractions and we're going to add them. We copy the denominator, 5, and we add the numerators. So, i plus ta ni ang 3, kag ang 2 equals. 3 plus 2 equals 5 all over 5. So, 5 fifths is actually the same as... 1 because 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And that's how you add similar fractions. Alright. Next, addition of dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, they are fractions that have different denominators. So let's have 1 half plus 1 third. What do we do para ma-add ang 1 half ka 1 third? Let's try to draw one half and one third first. One half, this part over here, and this one is one third. We are trying to add one half and one third. They are dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. In other words, the whole is divided into different equal parts. So what can we do para ma-add ang dissimilar fractions? Let's look at this one. This 
hole is divided into two equal parts, while this hole is divided into three equal parts. If there are two equal parts, each equal part we will divide by three. So we will divide that into three equal parts. As you can see, we have six equal parts. This is now three sixths. Over here, we have three equal parts. Each equal part, we will divide by two. So this part, we will divide into two. This part into two, and this part into two. Now, as you can see, this is the same as two parts out of six, or two sixths. Kung nagtawon mo sila, parihos na sila sa buong denominator. Six equal parts. So we have three sixths plus two sixths. And pwede ito na siya ma-add parihos sa mga similar fractions. So paano na siya? One half plus one third. The total number of equal parts is now six. This six is called the least common denominator. Paano makuha ang 6? Ang ato nga ginobrother eh, we multiplied 2 and 3. 2 times 3, that is 6. And we have the least common denominator. Now, ano ang ato nga nahimo sa 1 half? It became 3 sixths. 3 sixths. Paano nakuha ang 3? 6 divided by 2, 3, 3 times 1, 3 parts of a whole. And that is our numerator. Plus, 6 divided by 3 times 1. So that is 6 divided by 3, 2 times 1, that is 2. Equal to, is to go on This go on the 5 sixths. And that's how you add 1 half plus 1 third. Try to naman 3 eighths plus 3 fourths. Pwede tagit i-multiply ang denominators nga 8 kag 4. That is 32. Ang ato na denominator. 32 divided by 8. That's 4. 4 times 3. That's 12. Plus 32 divided by 4. That's 8. 8 times 3. That is 24. 12 plus 24 equals 36 over 32. Ang 36 kag 32, pwede sila duwa ma-divide sang 4. So, divide to ni by 4. Divide to ni by 4 para ma-simplify. That's equal to 36 divided by 4, that is 9. Over 32 divided by 4, that is 8. Or, 9 divided by 8, 1. Pilabilin, 1 over 8. Mayroon siguro ang iba nga naghambal dira na ang 32, hindi na siya least common denominator sa 8 kag 4. Kag-chakto gina siya. Pero kalmada, paano magkuha sa least common denominator? Sige, ang muna natin na ubrohan sunod. Sige, butangan ta lang siya do gamay ng uh, barrier. Ang butangan ta sa tanod para magbantay. Paano magkuha sa least common denominator sa 8 kag 4? O sige, try ta na be. 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. I'm using the prime factors of 8. Ang 4 naman niya is 2 times 2. 2 being a prime number. So, ang ato ni Obrahon is, ano ganing 8? 2 times 2 times 2. Ano naman ang 4? 2 times 2. Ano ang common sa ila? That is, the 2 times 2, meaning 4. Amun na natin LCD? Hindi pa. You still have to multiply the uncommon factor, which is 2. So, meaning 8. 8 ang ato na least common denominator. So, 8 divided by 8, 1 times 3, 3. Plus, 8 divided by 4, 2 times 3, 6. That's equal to 3 plus 6, 9 over 8. Or 
1 and 1 eighth gap on. So, I'm going to show an LCD using the same technique that we used in finding for the least common multiple. So, we can use the same barrier. Kaya tapos na ang lockdown. Kaya pwede na taka-resume sa business as usual. Ah, sige. Another technique. Paano mag-add ang dissimilar fractions? Like for example, 4 fifths plus 2 thirds. This is equal to, ating nga brahon is the denominator 5 times the denominator 3. 5 times 3. That's equal to 15. 15 is going to be our denominator. Now, ang ating obrahon is the numerator 4 i-multiply sa denominator nga 3. 4 times 3, 12. And that will be put over here. Plus, ang numerator nga 2 it times sa denominator na 5. So, 2 times 5, 10. And, ang muna na siya. That's a shortcut. 12 plus 10, that is 22 over 15. 22 divided by 15, that is 1. Pilabilin. Sa 22, kung kuwaan mo siya 15, that is 7. So, 1 and 7 fifteenths. And that is how you add dissimilar fractions.